Hey Buzzards, I'm Sapphire and you're watching Toon Buzz on Channel Frederator. Today I'm sitting here with Noelle Stevenson, who Hi. is the co-writer of the Dimension Garden episode of Bravest Warriors, creator of the Nimona webcomic, and co-creator of the upcoming Lumberjanes. What inspired you to get into illustration? Always really liked drawing as a kid. I basically drew on everything. Didn't really have a lot of training until high school and I had a really great art teacher. She encouraged me to enter a book illustration contest, which I won, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but like that was the moment where where I figured out that the kind of art I was doing was illustration because I'd always been really into stories. And when I decided to go to art school at her prompting, um, I decided to go into illustration and that worked out really well. When did you start posting your original work on Tumblr? I had a Tumblr for about three, three and a half years, maybe a little more. Around summer 2011, I think, was when I first started kind of consistently posting art to Tumblr. Why do you think Tumblr has become such a great place for artists? Because it's based on sharing. That's like what makes Tumblr like a good site for, for sharing content. If you create an image, it's very easy for others to click that image, reblog it, and it goes to their own blog and everyone who follows them is able to see it and reblog it if they choose. So everything you put out there has the opportunity to reach way more people than it would if you were just posting it on like a traditional blogging site where it wouldn't get shared or maybe people would pass a link around to it, but it, it travels instead of stays in one place. It's a pretty good place to get visibility for your art. How did you get involved in co-writing a Bravest Warriors episode? Ah, uh, well, I was just kind of doing my thing online and Eric Homan reached out to me and asked if I was interested in writing for Bravest Warriors. And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> and then when I moved out to Los Angeles shortly after that, I, it made it a lot easier. And yeah, everything just kind of fell into place. How was it like working with Brian and Jason? Oh, it was so cool. It was really fun. The coolest thing about it is that, you know, I'd watched all of Bravest Warriors before that, but I didn't like there's so much about like the universe that I didn't know about just from watching it because it's all like it's it's all in Brian's head and he has like this really like huge universe there that he knows all about but like hasn't necessarily been touched on yet in the series so it was really cool to kind of be like he, like learn all these things that like he's been thinking but like I didn't know about yet so that I think was the coolest part. So what are the differences that you've noticed in writing in different mediums? Writing for animation is similar in a lot of ways to, for, to writing for comics, especially when I'm writing a webcomic that is my my own, like my baby, I don't have to, I don't have to listen to anybody, I do whatever I want. The fact that it's, it's still like a visual medium and not just um, like, a, it's not about prose, it's not just about the words, it was like, that makes it kind of similar to comics, so I, I had a little bit I had a little bit of experience coming into it. So what projects are you currently working on? Um, I am working on Nimona, of course, right now. It's about to finish up, which is super sad. I don't think that it's one of those stories that can keep going for eternity like some webcomics can. I'm really jealous of those comics. I'm like, it must be really fun to just have your characters and just write them forever and be able to do all kinds of things with them. I think Nimona needs to end uh, instead of going on forever because there's only three characters and there's only so much I can do with them. Gonna be moving on to another comic project after that that hasn't been announced yet um, and that's still being kind of uh, talked about right now so news on that later. And then you know still writing, co-writing Lumberjanes with Beam Studios and uh, yeah those are my two big projects right now. If you weren't an artist what do you think you'd be doing? I would be a flight attendant slash the person who drives the tram at the airport because that's what I wanted to do as a kid. I wanted to live in an airport, have a secret airport house and drive the tram and fly to different interesting places all the time. Do you have any advice for aspiring artists or animators? Um, draw. Okay, that's super obvious, but if you want to draw something or if you want to animate something or make a comic or make anything, do it as best as you can and put it where people can see it and that's the best possible thing you can do for your career. If someone sees that and they like it, they'll be like, hey, cool, I see that you have that skill. Why don't you apply it to this thing? And you're like, awesome, I would like to do that. And you do it, and then everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dance party! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming by, Noelle, and having a chat with us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Last thing I want to ask you is, what is the best thing about having short hair? Definitely that I can just get out of the shower and I can just towel dry it and it looks crazy and then I just 
leave the house and it looks awesome. I'm done and I'm good to go. <laughs> awesome.